Good evening, good morning, good afternoon, wherever you may be in the world. I would like to thank you for stopping by Healing Inner Child Womb Conversations with Z or Rita. I had to change that. It was not looking right to me. Um, I would like to thank you for stopping by my channel. Um, I haven't been on in a few days. I was going to come on. I came. No, I didn't actually come on. I started filming the Inner Child message yesterday. And something just was not right about it. So I, I stopped it. I stopped the video and said I will come back today and um, get better energy. Something was off. And I don't know if it was me or if it was someone else's energy trying to attach itself to me. I don't know. But it didn't feel right. And so I closed out the reading. And I think I deleted it as well. Um, so we're going to come, we're going to do a fresh inner child message today. Um, in the background music, you're hearing solar plexus chakra healing music, super powerful self-confidence, what else? Chakra meditation music. That's what's playing in the background. I just picked something of one of the chakra systems so that we can have something to um, help activate us some kind of way while we're doing the reading. Um, I've already cleansed the cards. I've already prayed over the cards. If you are coming to this channel, you are receiving the same level of protection that I ask for myself and I ask for a lot. It's been a lot of stuff going on and um, I don't know if it's moon magic or whatever it is, but it's been a lot of, the energies have been really weird. And I can say for myself, um, in my 3D um, job, it's been a, a lot of turbulence um, in the beginning. I'm in a new spot and communications have been kind of weird So, and me, with me and the boss. And so we had to have a conversation at first, they didn't really like what I was saying, but they understand and we have a better understanding. Um, it's not always what you say to people, it's how you talk to people. And you have to speak up and, you know, say things. Um, today was much better. Um, our conversation was much, it was, it was like night and day. Because um, I was about to say, okay, maybe I need to leave this spot. I can, I can, I can, I have lots of choices. I'm never limited. So we'll see. You know, I'm grateful that today was a, a better day. Um, but there is an, it's a, an employee there as well that's very, um, it's something about her energy that's not right. And she has an issue with me. And I know what it is. Um, she's an educated person. I'm an educated person. Um, she's much older than me. Her timeline, she's probably 20 years older than me. Or almost anyway. And her, her thing is, well, we should do things this way and I'm not, I'm not like that. Or I should let her do stuff because she's older than me. I'm not like that. We had a little bump because she wanted me to drop what I was doing to help her and I didn't do it. And so today that was past energy and so today now she's questioning how I know what I know and I just asked her why you want to know and I kind of took her back so you know you have to say things to people you know when they push their energy on you you have to push it back and they don't like that or they don't know how to handle that because she after she said what she said, she said, well, what you do is, um, that's a big responsibility, and I never thought that I would do it. And I never responded to it, but that's not my problem that you felt that you wouldn't be able to handle that type of responsibility. That don't have nothing to do with me, so don't try to think that you're going to say that, I, that it's a, too big of a responsibility for me, because that's what she was insinuating, but I didn't answer, and she knows I'm not going to answer. But anyway, let's get on to this reading. You, are, Some of you are maybe dealing with these type of things. 
And for me, years ago, if if I wasn't healing my inner child, I probably would have rolled over and let them people roll over me because it used to happen. I used to people used, used to just roll over on me. But now that I'm speaking up, and not only am I not not only am I speaking up, I'm not doing it in, in an aggressive way because when when I would speak up in the past, it would be for you know both barrels blazing and I would just shot shoot them down and it would be horrible. My mouth would get get real reckless. And then it would be a bigger problem because then you know you have um consequences by that. You know what you say you do have a consequence for it and and I'm understand I've understood that and I'm I am now able to better maneuver around these people. Um but anyway, and then I want to say that these are people from two different ethnic backgrounds from myself. So I'm dealing with that as well. So the communication communication issue is a problem. Oh, let me add this because I had to check another employee. They were making jokes about coming to clean their house. And I had to straighten her out too because I said, you don't know that I am African American. Um, I said, you don't know the you don't know the history of that, and you don't don't ever speak that to me ever again because it's very disrespectful. And she tried to brush it up. Oh well, I didn't mean it. I was just saying, no. You don't say that, not to me anyway. You can say whatever you want to say to anyone else, but you don't say that to me. I pushed it back on her as well. But anyway, like I said, it's been a lot of energies going on with people trying to push stuff trying to be slick and you have to cut them off at the knees so they can stop they think twice before they say stuff out the side of their lips to you but anyway <laughs> let me um let me get into this reading uh and, and i'm sure that's a message for somebody that's going to come to this come to this channel to hear the the reading so i don't know what this reading is going to be about who knows but I'm only going to pull one card for the inner child. And um, I'll see what I need to do. Almost had it up. Oh, do I have it upside down? Okay, wait. Let's get out of that. This card is upside down. I'm not, we're not using it. But yeah, make sure the deck isn't upside down. It isn't. Um, we're going gonna, gonna to pull one card. It fell in, nope, two cards. I'm not taking those. I said I was on, oh, here, we, nope, that's two cards. I'm only taking one because these messages with these inner child cards, they get really, really long. And it's not that I don't want to have a long message, but there are other things, other messages in, you know, with these other cards that I want to get into. Okay, which one is it? Seven of Hearts. That's Seven of Cups. Secret of Swords. Somebody's learning how to protect their heart. Get their heart's desire. I'm gonna go through the um I'm gonna go through the workbook and the regular book. This is emotional. We're dealing with emotions right now so someone is learning how to deal with their emotions so let's see seven is a mystical number representing visions dreams and contemplation it is an it is associated with the seven chakras the seven colors of the rainbow the, the seven pillars of wisdom in the Middle East, the seven sisters of the Pallades, and the seven stars of the Big Dipper in the constellation of the Great Bear, Ursa Major. The peaceful mermaid in this card meditates below an arc of seven winged hearts and in submerged Atlantean temple. She wears a seven pointed star symbolizing the light of spiritual protection and guidance. In a sense, she is stargazing. Somebody's asking for protection. When you meditate on universal truths and secrets, 
you can expand your consciousness beyond the boundaries of time and space. Often at this point, you become aware of the divine abundance that lives within your heart, as well as a greater need for focus and clarity. This may be a time to withdraw your physical energy and settle into the spiritual here and now. Reacquaint yourself with the power of hidden resources and balance your outer desires with your inner needs. Take time to be alone and nurture your soul. Create your own little world or sanctuary where external chaos cannot intrude. Sweet messages can come to you in these heartfelt moments. So a lot of you are going within, and if you're like me, I'm in my little sanctuary. And this is where I meditate and get grounded to try to focus on things now. Because a lot of times we have energies forcing us to look at the back, trying to make us look at the future, when really we need to focus on the here and now because that's all we really, right now is all what we really have. And if we if we focus and, you know, stay tuned to what's going on now, it will benefit us in the future. Yeah. And by doing this, you're going to be protected. Now, I'm going to ask some questions. The Seven of Cups re represents a time of emotional searching. It is time to still the restlessness of the heart and tend to the unresolved issues surrounding emotions and feelings. The pattern of life reappear, allowing for another closer look into the greater matters of the heart. Somebody's soul searching. And what you want to do... The number seven expresses a spiritual quality and the presence of this card indicates the time has come to quiet your inner emotions and listen to the, to the dictates of your higher mind, your soul searching. So, have I ever overtaxed, have I overtaxed my emotions lately? I can say yes for me. Is it time for a rest? Yes, I can answer that as well. Is it time to meditate and peacefully embrace my inner world? Yes, I can say that to me for me as well. Because even I can speak on this today. When I left work, today was a great day at work. And I say that because when I got ready to leave, I was physically tired. I felt my but it, it I had look at listen to that. Uh, I it was it was really I really felt tired, physically tired, because I know that I had done a lot of physical work. I don't do a physical job, but I do a, my job is more mental than physical. And I noticed that when I have a full day of a, a, a good full day, I am, I'm tired. My body's tired. And I've, I actually felt like that today. So I know probably, I, I did do some meditation earlier but when I finish this reading tonight I'm going to do some more meditation some more soul searching and dealing with emotions like you know like I said I spoke about things that I was dealing with at this job so I know I need to direct that to the divine just like a lot of you all may be dealing with those issues as well now I'm going to pull um some astrology just one and then we'll go from there interesting we'll see the bottom had water emotions twelfth house 36, Empress and Lovers, Escape. And it's also a nine. So you're ending some type of, um, ending something. And you're going to be using your Empress energy and your Lovers energy, making a decision. So what is this about? It's actually the Four of Cups. 
energy as well. I just saw that. I'm going to brighten this light up a little bit so I can see what's going on. The lunatic, the lover, and the poet are of imagination all compact. Wow. When the 12th house comes up in a reading, something is amiss. There is something about the situation you are unsure about or at least not privy to. All is not as it seems. Without information, it's difficult to move forward. The sig signals you are getting are probably wrong ones. The medical test you've just had, the diagnosis is not likely accurate. What seems obvious right now is only a mirage or obscured so that's why this um why you need to go within as well there is something going on and you probably are tapping into the incorrect energy what's on the bottom here earth element stability so whatever this has to, this has to do with your stability but also whatever is going on emotionally for you um you're seeking it, seeker. This is seeker of sorts. So you're learning or finding out how to do your get your stability emotionally. And some people may be trying to escape. Don't escape. You don't have to escape nothing. So what what spirit guy, what spirit animal is helping you do this? Only want one spirit. What what spirit animal? What animal spirit is helping? Can I have one? There it is. The elephant. That's earth energy. And then you have the lizard as well but i'm not i'm not gonna well i'll say with the if they're both earth no they're both um wow not earth wow they're fire mm, i stand corrected i know when i see the see the elephant i think of um remembering Somebody that can persevere. Unstoppable, auspicious, and wise. Yes, definitely wise. Normally, the female elephant is the leader of the pack. They know how to find water. They teach the other uh, their daughters how to find the water. Um, they teach them what they need to have. So you're learning something. On, and you're taking some whatever this action is. You're is is you're you're going to be un, unstoppable. The elephant is arguably the most auspicious figure in the deck. Like Ganesh, the elephant represents immense immense wisdom as well as good fortune. Yeah, they are good luck as well. It is said that the great elephant is the destroyer of obstacles. So if this card appears when you feel stuck. Rest assured, the path will soon become clear. So whatever is hidden in this escape, this four cup energy, you're gonna push through it, and you're gonna you're gonna find out what you need to find out. Uh, let's see. To add to the mystery, the elephant is also known to create obstacles in order to steer us in the right direction. Trust this gentle, noble creature. It illuminates the way with light of self-knowledge. So not only does it know how to clear obstacles, it can create an obstacle. So there could be, or there could have been, because this is an inner child, this could be past, present, or future energy. You could have been dealing with something that had created an obstacle for you in the past with this 12th house. And this is the end of the, um, the zodiac sign. So... Which is interesting because we are almost in the we are in twelfth house energy right now, um, Pisces. We are in that, so uh, it's a mysterious. It's a it's it's a iffy 
iffy um, energy. But this elephant spirit, animal spirit guy, will be able to block whatever is not quite clear. It can protect you. And they can allow you to be unstoppable. Um, where do I want to go with this? Um, by doing so, I'm going to pull out one of these um, sacred geometry cards. I may pull two. We'll see. Perception is one. I'll pull one more. There it is. I see it. Divine Feminine. Look at that. On the bottom is Root Chakra. Your base. Base. I mean, root, the red flower of life stimulates and supports our sense of security on this physical plane, both in our bodies as well in the physical world. And that, that like the earth and look at that. Look at that. You cannot. The bottom, this is earth energy again. So you're, you're learning how to become stable. Even though there's this energy, we're in this energy where things are in a loop. Um, you have a lot of illusions around right now with this 12th house. But you're going to be using Empress Energy 3 and the six lovers to make, you're going to be making decisions that are going to allow you to be unstoppable. And it's all about your perception. The frequency of perception supports our natural curiosity. Moving us beyond our comfort zone to find the edges of what we perceive as real and to make a good, hard, deep look at it. So whatever these allu uh, illusions are, we're going to be able to look at it and get a clear perception of what it is for us. And this is Divine Feminine Energy. Uh, and let me... This is um, Empress Energy and 5 is Emperor Energy. So... You're going to be making... You're going to be using... Balancing out. You're going to be balancing out these energies. Well, actually, five, four is emperor. Five is um, hierophant. This is going to be using um, higher level commitment, higher level learning information. So you're going to be learning and creating um, the hierophant, their traditions and, you know, the rules and things like that. Teachings. You're going to be learn using that energy, whereas the divine feminine is using um this card is using uh, high priestess and magician energy um, to support. And also, this is 21. You're ending a cycle. 21 is, is the world card. So you're ending, you're going to be, you could be ending a cycle too. The frequency of divine feminine supports our receptive, nurturing, and soft side. Allowing it to express itself openly and helping us to connect in our, to our intrinsic not understanding of our connection to all creation. So yeah, you're using Empress Energy. 21 is a 3 as well. So it's a lot of, in, um, it's a lot of Empress Energy here. So there are new beginnings. You're going to be learning how to uh, create these new beginnings. In spite of the illusions, because you're going to be able to be unstoppable with this elephant as your um, spirit guide. Now, I will pull. Nope. Yeah, we'll go from here. I'll do it this way. Um, can I have a card? Message. I have a card. Okay. Change. Can't make it up. And what's that number? A nine. There is some type of cycle ending for you. There's a cycle ending. And it has something to do with a house. And 
the house is gated, but the lights are on. There are a lot of lights on. So there's a possibility that there's some enlightenment. That perception is going to activate that house. Because underneath it, there is a family room, but we're not, I'm not taking either one of those cards. But I know that there is a change. Divine feminine or masculine. Because this, this is a male, divine feminine is feminine energy, but you could be a man or a female and have divine feminine energy. It doesn't matter, it's just an energy. And I know a lot of people have an issue with that because they hear feminine and they think it's a woman. But we both have masculine and feminine energy within our bodies. It took your mother and your father to create you. That's why you have those masculine and feminine energies within you. So don't get dissuaded by that. Um, let's pull something from here. Peace. I am a being of love and I release all negative energy. Somebody is uh, manifesting a higher frequency. They're moving up to another level of frequency, of positive frequency. They're releasing fear. I realize that I am testing my resolve to live in the energy of love. Yeah, in the past you might have been in this energy of fear. Wow. Wow. So, this one too. And I have a man. There we go. You are bright energy. Color uplifts you. So when you're bright, that means that your vibration is very high. You are raising your vibration. And by you're you raising it because you're becoming unstoppable during this change that's going on in your life. No longer holds power over you. So whatever has been, and that's where that fear comes from. Whatever was holding you in fear, it no longer has control over you. I wanted to look at that lizard. I knew I didn't. It was something I didn't do. I want to know what that lizard has to say. And this elephant energy is the highest energy, fire, fire energy in, the, in that area of the book. Let's see. It's a possibility that, yeah, the lizard was... It wasn't the lowest, but it was close to it. But you're going to be able to use your lizard energy instinctual, sensitive to the subtle and dreamer, high priestess energy. You're going to be able to look at that. And, and I wanted to talk about it because I saw the chakra system, chakra colors. I see yellows, oranges, purples, greens. Those are the chakra. Your, your, your chakra system is alerting you to this. And, and actually as well the in the divine feminine i see your chakra is a lot of oranges and pinks and blues you know you're activating a lot and it's going to be heart centered when you um look at your uh, perception you're using blues and greens and purples you're using your you're activating your chakra system and you're going to be a, that will allow you to get your body back in alignment as well um I'll pull one from this deck and then we'll get to the tarot and then we'll be able to shut this down. Shut it down. Shut it down. All right. What else is going on with this energy? There it is. Pleasure seekers. Some type of celebration. Now, I don't know if this is you trying to celebrate or... or Pleasure seek is three people here. It could be the three of cups, but it could also be something else. Um, I could clarify it. Let me see. 
what's going on with these pleasure seekers because I'm not sure about it okay they're not good it's thief energy somebody is in a deceptive somebody in this this um pleasure seeker these three people one of them is a thief and there is something about a wedding so somebody could be married or somebody could be um lying about being married something about it not sure about that but there is a change because of this pleasure seekers and somebody is sick i've been talking i've talked about that before there's there's an energy that is not well and this could be like i said this could be past energy you could have been if this is past energy you know there were people that stole things from people because they were married it could be that and these people these pleasure seekers were not of the uh, of uh high caliber they were low caliber low vibration people um you have to look at that we'll see what the tarot has to say i'm gonna pull i'll pull from this deck first since i have it right here in front of me um can i have a message Nine of Wands, somebody is protecting them. They're standing guard. There are messages coming, and somebody's standing guard with that wand in their hand. So there's some type of message. There could have been some, um, some type of um, ten of swords. Somebody might have backstabbed somebody. Ace of Wands, it could be about... It's Ace of Wands is... Uh, passions so that's what this thief could be about somebody could have lied in the past or they lying now can i have i'll take those stuck energy possibly let's see um ace of ace of pentacles so there's a gift so the nine of wands Ace of Wands, Ace of Pentacles, the Fool, and the Mother Star. Yes, whatever it is, you're going to be able to move forward. You're going to be able to um, be enlightened. You're waiting, rebirth, sacrifice. You're reflecting on something. Or it could be that somebody in the past was trying to keep you stuck. But I'm because the fool is here. I'm looking at it as that you are you are gonna you're moving to being um, rebirth. You're looking at things. You're 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 reflecting on what has happened, and that's why you're okay. That's why you're in this nine of wands. You're you're getting the messages and you're holding your wand. You're standing guard, and because you're doing so, you're gonna get this new gift from the divine new creativity and this new new creativity is going to allow you to have new pentacles some a new beginning two different types of uh, beginnings because one could be travel one could be career that's with the wines and then this new, other new beginning is going to bring you prosperity and what is this prosperity I don't have my glasses on. Property. So it has something to do with property. And because you're doing that, you're getting a new, you're starting a new cycle. Because that new cycle, you're getting the mother star, yes. And the mother star has all, all this is almost like, like a magician energy because she has all of the elements there. Wands, cups, swords. Wands, cups, swords, wands, cups, sword, and pentacles. Everything's there. So you're going to have a new beginning because you're going to be able to look at things from a new perspective and can't make it up. Here's four cups again. That's what that 
um, escape is from. The escape card is the four of cups. You're feeling, you know, you're feeling like you, you've, you've missed out on something. Uh, there's something that's blurry. You're not really sure about something, but no, it's coming. You get the new start and it's, you have the yes card. Uh, I'm going to pull from this deck and clarify those. And then I'll pull a um, affirmation and then we're done. All right. Can I have a message for the nine of wands? Look at that. The temperance card. You're not, you're, you're going to be fine. You're balancing out because you're getting the messages that you need. Because look at that. There's the five of cups. There's some type of sadness from the past. And that's probably with this thief and wed, this stuff from the, this is past energy possibly. Ace of Wands. Can I have a card on the Ace of Wands? There it is. I see it. This Ace of Wands is going to give you four Wands energy. Because you're going to be investing in yourself. Investing in yourself after experiencing 10 of swords. This is the second 10 of swords I've seen. So there was some type of um, mental manipulation going on by, in the past. And somebody's moving past that. And that's why this, that's probably why this escape card came up. And this is why you're being told to go within. It's time to meditate and go within so that you can be clear and move forward. You're, you know, you're going to be unstoppable. So, Ace of Pentacles, please. Can I have a message on the Ace of Pentacles? Okay, I'll take them. All of them fell out. Whatever it was, somebody was jealous about something and they cut something in half. It's Five of Swords energy. Somebody wanted to win at every... They wanted to win. They didn't care what they did to win. They were jealous and envious. And it has something to do with the Empress. It's a lot of I already told you it was a lot of Empress energy here, and you are ending a a cycle, which I had already said a cycle was ending, and you're going to be uh, a bun, you know, nine of Pentacles. You're going to be stable within your own self, and somebody is not happy about it, or they were not happy about it. It doesn't matter either way. They're not happy, and because you're getting this, this is why this new beginning you're going to get a new cycle full energy can i have a card on the full energy full energy is because you've gone with them like you were told to in the beginning you were told to go within meditate and that's what you're doing and because you're doing it there's an ace of cup on the bottom. You're going to get another gift. So you've gotten, you have the ace of pentacles, you have the ace of wands, and now the ace of cups is here. So all you need now is the sword energy. You're manifesting something. What is this mother star energy? You're going to get the two of cups, soulmate. And if it's not a, if it's not a person, it's going to be something that you love to do. But this is a soulmate card. And after receiving or giving out some type of judgment. And a card, two cards fell on the bottom. And they're in reverse and I'm going to do it. That judgment is because somebody withheld an offer to you. And you're not even going to fight about it. you good. But you good. you good. You have looked at this situation from a different perspective. What's on the bottom here? You put it to rest. You're done. You have been, your third eye has opened up. Like I said, your chakras are enlightened. You know, you've activated them. They're telling you, you already know what you need to do. Okay. So the last message for the night. Affirmation. The love within me is more powerful than doubt or fear. Yes. You're unstoppable. 
Life is good to me. Yes, it is because you're doing, you've gone within and you've done everything you're supposed to do. This was an amazing message. This was way better than the energy that I had yesterday for the inner child reading. I would like to thank you for stopping by Healing Inner Child Wound Conversations with Z. I'm hoping this message has given you the guidance and information that you need to do for yourself. I can only give the message. You have to apply it to your life. You only you can do that. I can't do I can't do it. It's not my job. You have to you have things there are certain things you have to do for yourself. You can't be spoon fed. Okay? Tough love, but it is what it is. All right, you all take care and I'll be back soon. Peace.